Hello, I'm David Shukri from IGD, and we're here today at Spa Parkfoot to look at mission-based merchandising. We're hearing a lot about this, and we have done over the last 12 months, as operators right across convenience look again at how they can serve shoppers' needs. Ranging things in different ways, uh, bringing products together in a way that meets the needs of shoppers. Here's a nice simple way of bringing two products together in store, Corona and the limes. Things that you're going to consume together and it makes life a lot easier for the shopper. Here in Fresh, another great example of how to think differently about products. Right above the pre-packed meat, we've got this great range of pre-prepared sauces. It's another simple way of making the association, making the connection and making things easier for us as shoppers. Now here with Spa's Italian range, you see the same thing in play. Pasta, sauces, ready meals, garlic bread, pizza, all in the same fixture, making life a little bit easier. It's all about thinking outside the box and thinking where your products could sit in the new world of convenience. We often overlook in convenience the massive pool and audience that we have to work with. We know that 85% of us are using C stores each month and a recent piece of research we did showed us just how impulsive they are. They're open to new ideas, they're open to innovation on merchandising and range. But as I've said many times before, it's important as well as suppliers, particularly in the symbol segment, to be aware of the role that the wholesaler and the retailer plays. It's a relationship game, you have to work on both of them. And ultimately, we've got to be thinking category. We have to be aware that space allocations will change, but that there will be huge opportunities to try new things in the future. To hear more from the Symbol Groups and their plans for the future, join us at IGD's Symbol Groups Conference this May. Hope to see you there.